Hello, I'm Srikant, Director Srikant Technologies. I would like to discuss a few things in this video. This is about HMail server and how to use Outlook to communicate with HMail server. This is what we use in Java E course and ASP.NET course because we need a mail server in order to test our mailing programs. So we use HMail server in that context. So I would like to give you uh, the steps related to how to install HMail server, how to use Outlook to create an account that communicates with the HMail server. First and foremost, let's go to uh, HMail server's website. So this is HMail server's website. HMail server is a simple mail server. Any mail server is consisting of uh, three components. Uh, SMTP server that takes care of sending the mails. POP3 which takes care of uh, providing you access to your mails. And a repository where all mails are stored. And this is a, a very simple mail server and it's also free. And it works well with uh, all versions of Windows. Now, first go to download section and download the latest version. This is uh, the latest version of uh, HMail server. Whatever is latest, just go and download that. I already downloaded that. I got that in my system. Now I'm going to install that. Just double click on this file and then say run and say yes. And then the installation process begins. Now this is where you have to say next, accept, next and accept whatever directory it is suggesting. Next, accept both these options, server and administrative tools. Next, and select the built-in database engine. We don't have to configure anything here. Uh, let it accept the defaults. And then this is about uh, the shortcut and then the password this is the password we use to communicate with mail server and to configure mail server so we need to give a simple password I'm just giving some simple password doesn't matter what it is but keep it simple uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry this should be at least five characters so I'm giving something bigger This is all over the password and it is installing it and it's done. And now it's asking, would you like to uh, start HMail server administrator? Say yes. So here is HMail server administrator. We need to connect it to that. So click on connect and that's where your password is expected. So I'm giving the password. Click on OK. Now your HMail server administrator is displayed and go to domains because we have to create a domain and if you come back to our agenda this is where we already installed our HMail server this is done now we are talking about how to configure HMail server all that I want to do is create a domain called st.com you can have any name it doesn't matter because this is a mail server only in your system. It's not connected to internet. And I would like to create uh, two accounts, uh, one with the name Sri, other one with the name Kant. So eventually you will have addresses like uh, Sri at the rate st.com and Kant at st.com. Now, to create the domain followed by the accounts, let's follow the steps. So just go to domains, click on add and you add it to mine. I say st.com, save, here is the save button in the bottom right corner, you can see here. Just click on OK, I mean save and it is done. Now I got this domain called st.com. Now the next step is to create accounts. Go to accounts, click on add and there you have to give the address, I say three 
and then I give the password I keep it simple and then I say save and it will ask you whether you want to proceed with this weak password that's okay uh, we are sure yes then I would like to go back to accounts and create one more account and it is now showing under accounts what we already created just click on add create one more and this time I'm going for the second account called Kant and then the password click on save same question same answer we are done so we got domain called st.com with the two email addresses Sri and Kant so those are the addresses so this is about how to install HTML server create domain create accounts in this and now let's exit this we don't need to use this anymore so we are done with first two steps we have installed HTML server we configured it so that we have the required domain required accounts now it's time to use Outlook but what is Outlook well Outlook is called as a web agent I'm sorry mail agent okay mail agent is a program that communicates with the mail server so here is my Outlook communicating with my HMail server to receive the mails and also to send mails and the broad picture if you see I use mail server so that I can uh, have a mail sent and received and I write a program might be in Java might be in C sharp and this program is communicating with the HMail server sending the mail this is basically to send mail and then to see whether the mail is sent or not and how the content is then we have to use our Outlook because Outlook allows you to receive those mails and it displays those mails so let's go to Outlook and see how we have to create an account that communicates with this and to go to Outlook you search here and there you say you want Outlook and I'm using Outlook 2013 and if you are using uh, some other version of Outlook certain things may slightly change okay I just want to uh, first okay so this is my Outlook and I would like to go to Outlook and there we are talking about some accounts I already have some accounts and I would like to first of all uh, uh, get rid of these accounts so, so we already have some accounts let me go and delete those accounts so that I can show you how to create accounts well, there we are now I just want to close all this start with clean slate okay here we are so first start Outlook and then you click on this file menu and when you click on file menu remember depending on the version of Outlook Express you have options in different places this is relevant to Outlook 2013 now go there and click on add account and this is going to give you a dialog box and in this it's asking you to provide the details about the new email account and I choose the option manual setup this gives me more details and I want to provide all the details click on next and we need to go for the third option which is uh, pop or IMAP, IMAP uh, server so I go with pop next and this is where I want to configure one of my email accounts so I start with Sri so I just give the name Sri and here Sri at st.com and then incoming and outgoing mail servers are with address localhost well remember everything is in my system and then we give the username this is where you have to give not just the username but the whole email address so st.com 3 at st.com and the password 
this is what I have to give and then you can even click on test settings to see whether everything is fine so once you say that it's saying congratulations all tests completed say close and click on next and then it is done and once it is done you're done so we created one of the accounts in Outlook so here we are so at the bottom you can see three at st.com this is the account okay now any mail you send to your hmail server your outlook can receive those mails can read those mails and can display them so this is how we configure outlook and just be careful while you're giving the details especially the username so for HML server is concerned should be uh, email address that is uh, 3 at st.com okay and you can create some more uh, accounts here and Outlook is a full-blown mail agent it allows you to do a lot of things but coming back to our uh, broad picture we have created the account here we are we are done with this and now you can write a Java program and send a mail to three okay at uh, st.com and then you can go to Outlook and you will see that in the inbox of this account so this is what you have to do in order to integrate HML server and Outlook hope this is of use to you and all the very best bye bye